eventually we will do a sleeper cab where we can send drivers out for multiple days at a time as we expand the charging network. Tesla Semi has never been sold at $180,000. It is more expensive, and Dan Priestley confirmed there will soon be a new version for this big rig with a price big enough to make the transportation industry race more fire. Compared to other Tesla models, Elon Musk has always been secretive about Tesla's price, even though the quantity is only about 100 units currently, but we have good news that Semi trucks are being produced again at Giga Nevada before sleeper cab version release. Vice President Tesla Moravi has also directly confirmed this. How's Tesla reproducing the semi before releasing the new version? This information continues to come from Henrik Zane, a Tesla semi advocate covering Giga Nevada drone. He indicated that the production of Tesla semi trucks seems to be restarting at the experimental facility after a long hiatus. According to the latest information, while awaiting the construction of the large scale production plant, Tesla's continuing to produce an additional 500 to 1,000 Tesla semi-trucks at the Nevada factory. Not only are they producing additional small quantities, but Tesla engineers are also refining the design to begin manufacturing more Tesla semis at the production plant. Of course, when mass production begins, it will begin with the new version, the sleeper cab. The positive signals regarding the resumption of semi-truck production in Nevada have been reaffirmed by Henrik Zane with evidence that we find convincing. Some components of the Tesla Semi have been spotted in the factory parking lot, including one short fairing, some crates with leaf spring assemblies specifically for the Tesla Semi. There are around 16 crates. Alongside them are axle housing wheels and tires. All these components are known to be completely new, but the tire part is confirmed by the video author to be the same as the Semi tires that Tesla previously stored at the prototype production facility in Milan. Not stopping there, the focus has intensified on three frames that have been completed and stored outside the factory with an additional set of wheels before the front axle assemblies are installed. Previously, the video author had never spotted chassis frames outside the building, suggesting that they're even more inside the building, but they're being moved on to the Tesla semi-assembly lines. Henrik Zaint has also counted approximately 12 Tesla semis parked in the lot, among which there might be some new Tesla semi trucks rolling off this prototype production line and undergoing testing, as well as having missing axles supplemented outside the factory. In contrast, some of them are electric trucks that have been manufactured long before and they are being utilized to transport components from Fremont to the Nevada factory. Talking about the upcoming new version of semi truck, this version will bring a huge adjustment to both the cabin and the performance of the big rig. Dan Priestley confirmed that Tesla plans to add a sleeper inside the cabin and the Nevada engineers are adjusting the entire space and cabin sites to make it most reasonable without reducing the efficiency of the electric truck. Specifically, the semi's cabin will be extended further back along with the driver's seat likely to be adjusted to the left, similar to other conventional trucks. This seems reasonable since the semi trucks faced quite a bit of negative criticism for its unique driver's seat. Updating the interior of the driver's cabin not only involves changes, but also adjusting operational specs for the sleeper cab version. It may no longer achieve a range of 500 miles per charge due to the increased weight of the vehicle. The gross vehicle weight of 82,000 pounds may also decrease, and the price sometimes may exceed 300,000. Indeed, there are aspects we may need to accept with the new version of the Tesla electric truck. The reason for the introduction of the new version is believed to address the limitation of the current day cab variant. Currently, Tesla only offers a daytime running version for its electric trucks, which has posed limitation for commercial companies like PepsiCo if they want to carry out trips longer than 500 miles for overnight deliveries to more distant locations. While PepsiCo may utilize other diesel trucks in their fleet for longer hauls, the company is aiming to transition to emission-free vehicles with the goal of reducing 100% of CO2 emissions by 2030. Of course, the Tesla Semi remains popular despite its price tag exceeding $250,000 due to this remarkable cost-saving efficiency. So we, when we go into volume production next year. In the United States, the average electricity price is currently $15.73 per kilowatt hour, equivalent to $0.1573 US dollars per kilowatt hour. When applied to the transportation sector, especially with Tesla Semi, the calculation of electricity consumption needs to be meticulously considered. With the announcement of Tesla Semi's electricity consumption being 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile driven, a simple calculation shows that for each mile of operation, the electricity cost of Tesla Semi will be approximately 27 cents. This is a significant figure to consider regarding operational costs and the potential energy cost savings of electric vehicles in the transportation industry. Meanwhile, in the United States, using the current average retail price of diesel fuel at $4 a gallon and assuming a fuel consumption rate of 6 miles per gallon when fully loaded, 
we can easily determine that the fuel cost of a typical diesel truck ranges around 66 cents a mile. Therefore, the production of semi-electric trucks in Europe would indeed be a highly sought-after product due to its flexibility and cost savings. Why has Musk never revealed the price of Tesla Semi? The Tesla Semi has been launched for seven years, and its price is still a mystery. Regarding the price of big rigs, rumors about the price tag of the Tesla Semi range from $150,000 to $180,000 for the two variants of 300 miles and 500 miles, and that could be true, but that's just the story from 2017 when Elon first unveiled it. And of course, these price points have not yet been confirmed by Tesla, so ultimately, it's just a speculative placeholder price. In fact, the price of the Tesla Semi has never increased to $250,000 over the years. But this is actually its original price instead of $150,000 or $180,000 as people think. Think about it. Now, according to the confirmation from Priestley, Tesla Semi Engineering, he said that Tesla only produces the current day cab version with a total quantity of only 100 units, including those delivered to Pepsi. Since there has been no modification, upgrade, or production of more electric trucks, then the manufacturer has no reason to increase prices for semi-trucks that are already produced in too small a quantities. A price increase is only possible when Tesla actually achieves volume production or releases a new version, so other than the confirmed $250,000, no price for semi-truck is credible. From what we understand, Tesla's confirmed that the semi is not complete, meaning that the day cab models produced so far are just efficiency tests, akin to initial generations, before Tesla decides on major investments for these big rigs. This means that the Tesla Semi will continue to be produced in more upgraded versions than what's currently available, at least a high-end variant with a completely revised cabin with the addition of a sleeper that Dan Priestley confirmed. So it's understandable that before revealing the specific price of the Semi, this leading electric vehicle company needs to ensure that the final product is done and ready to launch in larger quantities. This requires gathering feedback and experiences on the features and performances of the big rigs as they engage in operations with Pepsi's fleet, allowing the manufacturer to address issues to the maximum for the new iteration. Consequently, pricing will also be more easily disclosed. Another reason for Elon's silence on the price of the semi-truck directly relates to Tesla's long-standing market strategy. You need to understand that the more mysterious something is, the more people want to uncover it. This is precisely the approach Elon consistently applies to all his models to make everybody curious about his EVs. Currently, the Tesla Semi plays a significant role not just for PepsiCo's fleet, but also frequently undertakes the task of transporting shipments of Model 3s and Cybertrucks from the factories. Instead of relying on diesel trucks to deliver their electric vehicles, Tesla aims to maximize efficiency by utilizing its Semi, both to save costs and demonstrate its real-world effectiveness. At this point, the demand for Semi is high, and keeping the price undisclosed helps maintain its allure, especially if its actual price approaches nearly $300,000. Similar to the Cybertruck, the pickup truck has significantly lost its appeal since its high price tag was revealed to the public, resulting in a huge disappointment. The marketing strategy for the Tesla Semi is most evident when recently, scenes of the semi-truck transporting some new Highland Ultra Red Model 3 samples directly from the Fremont factory emerged. The Tesla Semi was discovered by electric vehicle enthusiasts carrying five refurbished Model 3s, all painted in ultra red. Interestingly, the Tesla Semi tractor appeared to be configured to transport only five cars at a time. This number is lower than the capacity of conventional car carrying trucks that electric vehicle manufacturers typically use, some of which have been found to accommodate up to eight Teslas. Taking into account that in the video footage, the Tesla Semi is only transporting five new Model 3s with a total weight of around 20,000 pounds for the five sedans, the semi-truck is certainly operating well below its maximum payload capacity of 82,000 pounds. Although the remarkable payload capacity hasn't been proven, it's undeniable that the semi-speed has been clearly demonstrated as the Class 8 electric truck smoothly accelerates on the road. Elon Musk may want to keep pricing information secret until the time is right to optimize this marketing effect. Keeping the price secret not only creates anticipation and interest from customers, investors, and commercial companies, but also keeps the Tesla Semi from getting ignored even after it's been discontinued. The third reason is much more important when manufacturers such as Volvo, Nikola, Peterbilt, or Freightliner are in turn investing heavily to release newer electric trucks than the Tesla Semi. At this point, it makes a bit of sense for Musk to keep the price of the Semi a secret because it would limit the ability of competitors to offer more competitive prices. A clear example illustrates the consequences of price disclosure. If Tesla were to reveal the price of the semi-truck at $300,000, competitors like Freightliner or Nikola could easily adjust their strategies to lower prices or optimize production efficiency, causing competitive pressure and eroding Tesla's competitive advantage. 
For instance, the Freightliner eCascadia or Nickelodeon tray could both be reduced from $300,000 to as low as $250,000. Furthermore, price disclosure could also pose challenges for Tesla in maintaining high stock profitability. The semi-truck has always been seen as a stock booster following the initial Model 3 setbacks. The truth is, Tesla's stocks would certainly decrease if the semi's pricing information fails to satisfy the majority. Therefore, keeping the price secret could be a crucial strategy to help Tesla maintain its leading position in the heavy-duty electric truck market. Competition in the Class 8 electric truck manufacturing industry is becoming increasingly fierce, and Tesla aims to maintain its advantage. By keeping the price secret, they can prevent pricing information from falling into the hands of competitors, avoiding unhealthy competitive measures. Elon Musk is also considering a long-term pricing strategy for the Tesla Semi. Revealing specific prices would have various impacts on the market and competition. He wants to ensure that pricing decisions are made thoughtfully and in line with Tesla's global strategy. How crazy is it that the Tesla Semi model got copied? China has become famous for its meticulous copying ability, sometimes leaving us questioning which product's official and which one's the copy. Comparisons between the Model X and Xpeng G3, Tesla Bot, and Kepler 4Runner, as well as the recent race between Tesla Semi and Windrow's truck, are just a small part of a world bewildered by replicas and clever imitations. It's crazy that even Tesla's giant electric truck cannot avoid the Chinese manufacturer's so-called inspired action. It can be seen that this Windrow's truck is 80% similar to the Tesla Semi, with only a slight difference in the headlights and without the two giant mirrors. The first Windrose truck is aiming for a range of 380 miles with a gross weight reaching 98,000 pounds, an insane total weight compared to the Tesla Semi's 82,000. Like the Semi, this replica is also equipped with an 800-volt high-voltage fast charging platform, allowing the truck to be charged quickly without affecting operating efficiency. According to Tesla's chief designer, Franz von Halsalsen, while the Tesla Semi drew inspiration from Japan Shinkansen high-speed train, enabling it to achieve an ultra-low drag coefficient of 0.22, the Chinese electric Windrose truck is equally impressive with its achieved coefficient of 0.2755, the lowest among heavy-duty trucks in China according to publicly available data, resulting in a significantly reduced energy consumption. The Windrose truck has redesigned its chassis, drivetrain system, battery system, and made slight exterior modifications after being based on the design of the semi, while also providing ready-to-deploy level 4 autonomous driving systems. However, the interior of the Windrow still seems to be a meticulous copy as it positions the driver's seat in the center, just like the Tesla Semi, a detail that sparked discussions about the safety of Tesla's electric truck. Under the maximum load of 98,000 pounds, the heavy-duty electric Windrow's truck has undergone energy consumption assessments, driving performance evaluations, air conditioning functionality checks, and the capable to handle extremely high temperatures of various components. Moreover, the Windrow Zero Emission Trucks demonstrates the ability to climb slopes, drive, brake, regenerate braking, and utilize an 800-volt high-voltage charging station under extreme temperatures ranging from 43 to 48 degrees Celsius. Additionally, Windrose has demonstrated that the compression and air tightness capabilities of its various systems can effectively handle prolonged altitudes ranging from 2,800 to 4,700 meters. Even more startling information related to the Tesla Semi-Replica is that global automotive supplier BorgWarner is whirling out a new ultra-high-speed 960-kilowatt EV charger, capable of charging the Windrose electric truck in approximately a half hour. It's known that the current Tesla Semi uses 750-kilowatt megachargers, enabling it to charge from 0 to 80% in 40 minutes. BorgWarner developed this 960-kilowatt charging station through a specialized team in new energy in China and they are liquid-cooled, which suggests that customers could charge the Windrose truck even faster than they could charge their Chevy Bolt. The new, quite nearly megawatt truck chargers are part of a pilot program between BorgWarner, Windrose, and the global real estate firm Goodman Group that aims to add EV charging infrastructure for electric long-haul trucks to Goodman's properties in China. Wen Han, founder, chairman, and CEO of Windrose, admits that making megawatt charging a reality is a huge challenge, and he's leaning on his established partners to help. As a young entrepreneur in my early 30s, I'm deeply respectful of the enormity of our vision of bringing zero emissions long haul trucks to China, Europe, the US, and other parts of the world. We recognize that we can only achieve this by standing on the shoulders of giants. Thus, truly fortunate to be working with industry leaders such as Decathlon, Goodman Group, and Borg Warner. The first fruits of Borg Warner Windrow's pilot charging station project will appear at Goodman's CityLink property near Beijing. 
The properties claim the 960 kilowatt station will enable Windrose Truck's massive 729 kilowatt battery to add 248 miles of range in just over 30 minutes. That's possible due to a pair of liquid-cooled charging terminals that can support dual-gun single-vehicle high-power superfast charging with a single-gun maximum output of 600 amps. As for the Windrose truck itself, its 729 kilowatt hour batteries are reportedly good for more than 600 kilometers of range on a single charge with a full 49-ton GBW. The company shown concepts, some rendering, some mules in long-haul, severe-duty, and dump-body configurations. And while it does look superficially like a Tesla Semi, it's the central seating position system that's been the source of most vocal copycat accusations. Regarding the Tesla Semi, Tesla's Senior Director of Truck Engineering, Dan Priestley, previously noted on the X social media platform that electric vehicle manufacturers have been using Tesla Semi as part of their operations for several years. He pointed out that Tesla's Semi fleet has transported over 20,000 battery packs from Giga Nevada to the Fremont factory. He also claimed that the Tesla Semis are running the same routes and carrying the same payload as the company's conventional diesel trucks, but with lower operating costs. In the fierce competition of the heavy-duty electric truck market, maintaining secrecy about the price of the Tesla semi-truck could indeed be a smart strategy to sustain its leading position. This way, Tesla can control information regarding its production costs and profits. So, what are your thoughts on the Tesla semi resuming production after a long pause? The year 2024 promises a fiery battle in the road transportation industry, serving as the stage for intense competition between the promising newcomer Tesla semi and the seasoned veteran Mac Anthem, known as the king with its wealth of experience. Despite being a newcomer to the market, the Semi has made a big impact with its superior breakthrough power. Its 1,500 horsepower, three times that of its competitors, is Elon's strong statement of ambition to redefine the rules of the road transportation world. What strengths does the Tesla Semi truck have to confidently dethrone the Mac Anthem? Why are Tesla Semi's three electric motors considered a game changer in comparison to Mac Anthem's traditional engine setup? The Tesla Semi's latest engineering breakthroughs are akin to a veil of mystery, concealing its performance figures. However, from the tidbit shared by Tesla's founder, we can discern that the newest Semi will boast three motors. Drawing from the prowess of Tesla's current motors, it's reasonable to estimate a combined output of around 1,500 horsepower, coupled with an immense torque of a 1,600 pound-foot. These numbers promise acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in just about 5 seconds when empty and 20 seconds when fully loaded, establishing a new standard in performance that few rivals can match. Not only does it outshine diesel trucks, but real-world results from the 2023 No Truck event indicate that the Tesla Semi boasts a range 2 to 4 times greater than competing electric trucks on the market. The current Semi, sans turbocharging, means that the Tesla Semi and other electric trucks are targeting approximately 60% of Class 8 trucking scenarios. The rollout of Megapack bundles and supercharging stations alongside new electric truck stops like those Pepsi is installing for their initial fleet of 26 to 100 electric trucks is imperative. The range of Class 8 electric trucks is going to improve with charging systems slated for deployment at over 1,000 locations by 2023, 5,000 locations by 2024, and so forth. The premier range of the Tesla Semi will expand over time, possibly increasing by about 10% every two years or longer. Furthermore, Tesla Semi highway drive and acceleration are continuous, with acceleration only engaging when necessary, ensuring peak efficiency. Speaking of efficiency, the three-motor Semi consumes less than 2 kilowatt hours a mile. That's when it's fully loaded with 82,000 pounds. On the flip side, Mac, a stalwart in the trucking industry, the 2024 Mac Anthem stands firm with its various iterations like the MP7, MP8, and MP8HE, each offering a spectrum of both power and torque, ranging from 415 to 505 horsepower and 1260 to 1900 pound-foot. However, the substantial disparity lies not in the figures but in the practical performance. Under load, the Anthem takes up to 60 seconds to hit, 100 kilometers an hour, a duration three times longer than the Tesla Semi, marking a clear dichotomy between tradition and the industry's future. Earlier this year, the Mac Anthem underwent upgrades, bolstered by a suite of enhanced engines for the three iterations, ensuring formidable power and torque to tackle hefty loads and inclines. An easy disengageable engine provides additional downhill power off functionality for heightened safety. The 2024 Mac Anthem has paid meticulous attention to aerodynamics to maximize drag and enhance fuel efficiency, 
a critical aspect in an industry where every mile per gallon counts. Smooth and careful body panels contribute to reducing wind resistance, ultimately saving fuel costs for trucking companies. Without a doubt, the Mac Anthem's acceleration enhancement still fails to keep pace with the Tesla Semi's rapid acceleration. The primary reason lies in Tesla Semi's unique design, with a front engineer to intake minimal air while still ensuring battery cooling. This approach not only reduces drag but also optimizes acceleration efficiency. With a low drag coefficient of 0.36, the Tesla Semi surpasses the Mac Anthem, despite the latter's drag coefficient ranging from 0.65 to 0.7 reduced to 0.5. The discrepancy renders the Tesla Semi superior, even outperforming supercars like the Bugatti Chiron with a coefficient of 0.38. With such unmatched power and performance, the Tesla Semi is attracting significant attention from the transportation industry, making the choice between the two trucks more critical than ever. So, which vehicle boasts greater power output? In the realm of diesel trucking, a typical model like the 6x4 Anthem usually weighs around 14,000 pounds when unloaded, consuming approximately 1,300 pounds of fuel with an engine weight of 2,500 pounds. Its total weight reaches 17,800 pounds. On the other hand, Tesla Semi's tractor unit can weigh around 15,000 pounds without the battery. The electric motor and transmission system of the Tesla Semi is much simpler and lighter compared to the engines and non-engine parts of diesel trucks. The battery pack of the Tesla Semi weighs around 10,000 pounds for the 500-mile range battery and 5,000 pounds for the 300-mile range battery. Consequently, the weight of the Tesla Semi when running 500 miles can reach about 25,000 to 26,000 pounds. However, under unloaded weight conditions and with the electric battery, the Tesla Semi carries an additional weight of about 8,000 pounds compared to a typical diesel truck. Nevertheless, this weight does not affect the operational efficiency and transportation capability of the Tesla Semi, maintaining its impressive and advanced status in technology and performance. Another aspect to consider is the interior, which plays a significant role in the weight and performance of trucks. The most noticeable difference between traditional truck manufacturers and modern Tesla trucks is the seating arrangement. Elon Musk's truck notably features a central driver's seat, which Tesla claims to allow for better overall visibility from the windshield. It has red-colored safety belts, and behind the driver's seat, there's two folding seats. There are two large touchscreen displays at both ends of the dashboard. It is expected that these two screens will have Tesla's excellent user interface and the usual connectivity features provided in the company's long-haul vehicles, alongside truck-specific features displaying towing data and more. In contrast, traditional manufacturer's Mac has also upgraded the interior for the 2024 Anthem available in a range of configurations that meet the diverse needs of the industry, whether it be a day cab, a sleeper cab, or even a flatbed model. The Anthem can be customized to meet specific transportation requirements, while Max history always aims to build rugged and durable trucks. The Mac Anthem has a more traditional cabin with numerous control switches and a space for a microwave, fridge, cup holders, and sleeping quarters. There's a control panel with numerous buttons facing the driver. The seat adjustment is quite spacious, but the main difference lies in the large sleeping area. The installation of mattresses allow the driver to sleep comfortably during long journeys. It's undoubtedly a more established and accepted cabin arrangement. The 2024 Anthem also emphasizes comfort and safety for long-haul drivers who may spend countless hours on the road. Mac understands that driver happiness is paramount, and the Anthem reflects this commitment. The Anthem's interior is a masterpiece of modern design and ergonomic functionality for drivers. Mac designs the seats for comfort during extended driving, with extensive adjustability to cater to the individual needs of operators. The intuitive control panel layout places crucial information within easy reach, reducing distractions and enhancing machine safety. What are the differences in safety features and technology integration between Tesla and Mac manufacturers? Another area where Tesla Semi makes a significant breakthrough is safety. Tesla Semi is expected to come equipped with the brand's enhanced autopilot feature as standard. We have yet to receive confirmation if that will indeed be the case. A range of safety features includes automatic emergency braking, forward collision warning, and lane keeping assistance. If the Tesla Semi senses no intervention from the driver, it'll continue on the lane, gradually slowing down and stopping while automatically dialing emergency services. There is an advanced traction control system on the Tesla Semi to prevent jackknifing. 
jackknifing refers to the abnormal folding of articulated vehicles like trailers due to uncontrolled inertia. This phenomenon occurs when the trailer is heavy, causing the truck to bend at different angles, often resulting in accidents. Tesla engineers have incorporated an advanced traction control system to completely avoid jackknifing. Moreover, the Tesla Semi's drivetrain system is guaranteed to have a lifespan of up to 1 million miles. Wow! Even if both its engines fail, the Tesla Semi can still operate and outperform a diesel truck in terms of acceleration and range. What else? Musk claims that the Semi will never require brake pad replacement. Regenerative braking recovers kinetic energy and stores it in the form of electricity in the battery, naturally slowing down the vehicle. Mac also pays up most attention to driver safety. Advanced technologies such as regenerative braking and predictive cruise control optimize fuel consumption. These innovations not only save money but also reduce the environmental footprint of trucks. The 2024 Mac Anthem demonstrates this practice with its advanced technology features and connectivity. Mac's exclusive connectivity system provides real-time performance data about the truck, allowing fleet managers to monitor fuel efficiency, driver behavior, and maintenance needs effectively. Furthermore, the Anthem is equipped with an advanced positioning system and GPS to help drivers plan routes more efficiently, reducing travel time on the road and increasing overall productivity. This connectivity also allows over-the-air updates, enabling Mac to continuously improve and enhance the functionality of the truck without the need for physical visits. Road transport industry stakeholders, like many others, are increasingly aware of the importance of environmental responsibility with tighter emission regulations and there is a growing focus on sustainability. Mac has made several significant strides in this area. What vehicle offers a comfortable driving experience, ensures maximum safety, and is also a smarter investment choice? One significant factor that sets Tesla Semi apart is its competitive pricing strategy aimed at disrupting the trucking industry. With starting prices ranging from $200,000 for the 300-mile range model to $250K for the 500-mile range model, Tesla Semi enters the market with a bold statement. Factoring in tax credits, these prices decrease to an attractive range of $160,000 to $210,000, making it an even more enticing option for fleet operators. In contrast, max prices range from $150,000 for the basic cabin model to $170,000 for the sleeper model. Compared to significantly higher costs of conventional diesel trucks, Tesla's pricing strategy demonstrates a breakthrough strength in the market. Various national, state, and local subsidies for electric trucks also play a role. New York offers up to $185,000 for an electric Class A truck. California's HVIP and other places provide substantial subsidies as well. The U.S. Federal Clean Air Act offers a $40,000 tax credit for electric trucks. There are also credits and deductions for solar energy and stationary energy storage projects that range from 30 to 70 percent of the total cost. Transitioning to electric trucks like the Tesla Semi brings significant fuel cost savings compared to traditional diesel trucks. With energy consumption ranging from 1.5 to 2.5 kilowatt hours a mile, Tesla Semi currently consumes about 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, expected to decrease to 1.5 kilowatt hours in the coming year. With wholesale electricity prices around 10 cents a kilowatt hour, the cost for every 10 miles driven is approximately $1.70 significantly lower than the 550 needed for a gallon of diesel, which allows diesel trucks to only cover 10 miles per gallon. This not only reflects the superior energy efficiency of electric vehicles, but also indicates substantial fuel cost savings. Moreover, electric vehicles like the Tesla Semi significantly reduce maintenance costs compared to diesel engines. With no oil changes and the use of regenerative braking systems, maintenance frequency and costs are reduced. Regenerative braking also helps recover energy during braking situations, enhancing overall energy efficiency. Tesla Semi offers a practical operating range of 400 to 500 miles with a full load, suitable for a large portion of freight transportation needs in North America. This opens up a significant market segment, with 30 to 50 percent of trucking needs potentially being met by electric trucks, making them a practical and cost-saving choice. Compared to diesel trucks, an electric truck like Tesla Semi not only reduces annual fuel consumption, but also provides long-term cost benefits. With an annual electricity cost of $17,000 compared to diesel costs of up to $80,000, the economic benefit is evident, with total savings of up to $330,000 over a decade, and that includes battery replacement costs. 
Cost calculations and long-term savings show that despite the initial purchase cost of $210,000 after tax credits, a Tesla semi-truck still remains a more economical choice compared to consuming diesel fuel, which costs up to $800,000 over the same period. Additionally, Tesla trucks help reduce insurance costs due to regenerative braking technology, reducing the risk of breakdowns and damage. While developing electric vehicle charging infrastructure may take some time, with fast charging capabilities rivaling diesel refueling, the future of electric trucks certainly looks promising. What positive signs have contributed to the Semi's advantage since the beginning of this year? The Tesla Semi has showcased its practicality in real-world scenarios, as the company's fleet of fully electric Class 8 trucks successfully transported over 20,000 battery packs from the Giga Nevada factory to the Fremont factory. This update was provided by Tesla's senior technical director, Dan Priestley, who recently shared detailed insights into the Environmental Protection Agency EPA's Phase 3 regulations. The EPA recently unveiled its final rule titled Greenhouse Gas Emission Standards for Heavy-Duty Vehicles Phase 3, aiming to establish more stringent standards for reducing greenhouse gas emissions from heavy-duty vehicles, starting with the 2027 model year. Vehicles affected by these new standards include large trucks such as daytime taxis and sleeper cabs. Priestley commended the EPA's Phase 3 regulations, emphasizing that the Tesla Semi has demonstrated its ability to navigate the same routes and carry equivalent loads as diesel trucks while significantly being able to reduce those operating costs. He also brought up the fact that Tesla Semi's fleet successfully transported over 20,000 battery packs from Giga Nevada to the Fremont factory. Additionally, the CEO said he was very optimistic about the rapid adoption of fully electric trucks like Tesla Semi across the market. Besides, starting from 2024, all new freight trucks operating at port and container terminals in California have to be electric. By 2035, all freight trucks traversing California roads got to be electric as well. These regulations provide a significant advantage for electric semi trucks because service providers are compelled to switch to electric trucks to comply with legal requirements electric semi-trucks will become the most suitable choice to meet these new regulations. There is a large potential market in California, with over 140,500 trucks registered to the Dreage Truck Registry as of December 2022. Among these, more than 51,500 trucks are registered in California, representing a substantial domestic demand. Additionally, around 89,000 trucks are coming from other states, indicating the potential for expanding that market. Electric semis are particularly suitable for operations at ports and container terminals, where approximately 33,500 trucks serve California's seaports and intermodal container yards annually. On average, 28,700 trucks visit these facilities at least twice a week, equivalent to 112 times a year. The frequent nature, short routes, and ability to recharge at fixed locations make electric semi trucks an ideal choice for these operations. The race between Tesla Semi and Mac Anthem is not only a clash between two brands, but also a competition of values and upgrades that they both bring. Tesla Semi and Mac Anthem represent progress in technology and performance in the trucking industry. With the ability to operate entirely on electricity, Tesla Semi not only provides energy savings and reduces emissions, but also opens up a new future for sustainable transportation. Mac Anthem, with its long-standing experience in continuous innovation, offers stability and reliability to users, demonstrating its commitment to quality and performance. The competition between these two truck models is creating diverse choices and undeniable benefits for both the transportation industry and the community. We hope you'll experience the utmost relaxation after watching this video. If you did, please press the like button and join the Tesla Car World community by subscribing to our channel. Hit the notification bell icon to stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Your feedback and time are highly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe and enjoy.